Greetings everyone, my name is Algy, welcome back to Fallout 4 for the PC. Let's continue our journey where we left off last time. Here we are, right in front of uh, Habris Comics and Toys store. We are here for the Silver Shrouds costume, yes. If I recall it well, at the place where we were exploring the memories of... Uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, the the bad guy. That's uh, that was the uh, place where. You know, the detective life is a lot less glamorous than the comics had led me to believe. Hmm. That that might be true. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is that? I I don't know. For some reason, it uh, just started to scream. So, we were up here, and uh, there was a, a stage somewhere. Oh, but there are some uh, some other people here too. And uh, I have a feeling that I could even go even further up. Not down? Yeah, up. There we go. I can uh, see it. Maybe you want to turn the lights down? Uh, yeah, why? No, of course not on the air yep and here we go hi there mr. silver shroud costume oh that's a mannequin give Kent the silver shroud okay so this is where they filmed that god-awful TV show was it uh, was it really that uh, See what I can do. That that awful. Let's try to talk. How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? Kind of, kind of badly. Still searching for him. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on him. All right. Well, we are done here. Can I can I travel back? Uh, so we get. If we have to go to Good Neighbor, I think. Yeah, here, because, uh, oh, enemies nearby, all right, I have to uh, go down uh, and uh, exit from the this building. Okay, doors closed, even, even more down, I guess. Oh, I need some, some light, it's so dark. So yeah, uh, there at, uh, at that place uh, you could uh, relive uh, your memories and that's a really awesome thing. I'm really sure that uh, a lot of you guys, uh, we don't need to find something. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, wanted to do the same thing. I think that would be an awesome, awesome thing. Just uh, sit in that machine and relive your, your old positive memories. That, uh, that would be really, really great. But uh, at the moment, we don't have a machine uh, like that. Lately, they released uh, this uh, VR headset kind of uh, thing. I have one of them. I have uh, the HTC Vive. And uh, I played uh, relatively a lot uh, with it. And uh, it's, it's really good. It's really good. You can um, feel that uh, you are in in a, a different sort of uh, uh, environment. Uh, you just leave uh, the boundaries of your room, and you can basically be anywhere and, and do uh, whatever you you want. Well, um, whatever the game uh, wants you to do, uh, not what you uh, personally want to do. Uh, you see, this guy or, or lady, I guess lady or guy uh, or lady, probably, <laughs> um, is uh, having a good time here. And this dude has a private room here with this uh, sh silver shroud uh, kind of thing. Hi there. Kent. Here she is, pretty as the posters. The silver shroud costume herself. Together with my gun, everything's all set. 
Uh, what are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Hmm. Demand reward, key costume for yourself. Oh, this would be so mean. Uh, let's let's just. There you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Hmm. What happens to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being a Silver Shroud? You're just like him. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. Why me? No one else would help me find the costume. Even though it sounds crazy, you can't. The whole world's fallen. Fallen hard. We gotta fight to make the place better. So you in? Mm, yeah, why not? Looks like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. The costume is done of yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Ooh. Uh, reduces damage from humans by 15%. All right. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Yay. <laughs> that was, this is so nice. Ah, let's say it was uh, it was cute. So, what exactly I have to do? We're gonna make this a decent place to live again. All right, but did I finish the thing or Silver Shroud? Listen to St Silver Shroud Station and Good Neighbor. Okay, let's uh, let's do that. Silver Shroud Radio. the streets of Boston. One man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode in the parlor of mysteries. Jasmine, chamomile, pain, ecstasy. This can only be the den of mysteries. Be still, sweet shroud. I removed that scumbag slug, but you're sick with fever and still suffering. Mistress of Mysteries, no, I'm all right. But the mayor, Fat Fatty, we stumbled upon a most sinister plot, old friend. Ha! <laughs> no, dear heart. The shroud stumbled. The mistress maneuvered. I knew of the mayor's misdeeds for many days. I followed him to that fateful meeting with Fat Fahey. I was about to... Attention! Silver Shroud and Mistress of Mystery! This is Chief Corcoran of the Boston Police Department! We know you're in there! You are both wanted in connection with the murder of Mayor Murphy! Come out with your hands up! It would seem that our leaving the scene of the Scale slaughter was terribly timed. Incurring the wrath of Boston's finest is an unfortunate and unexpected annoyance. Unexpected by us, maybe. But perhaps not by Fat Fay. Ah, I'm starting to, to see into his twisted plan. Ah, damn this gunshot wound. Look, heroes! We can clear this up. Come out now, unarmed. I'll see that you two get the best lawyers in the city. <laughs> Excuse my assumption that even the most astute attorney couldn't help us now. You're right, mistress. We must away from your den and evade the police. Clear our names and take Fahey down. That's it. We're coming in. Silver Shroud, Mistress of Mystery, hands up for order of the Boston Police. Chief Gorkonen, I am Death's Shroud, but you are undeserved of my terrible justice. Think 
Look on my mercy! Stop or we'll shoot! Men, open fire! Damn it! Where did this mess come from? Wait, it's clearing! Chief, they ain't here! They're gone! I was hoping you'd say that, Officer Leibowitz. I was hoping you'd say that. What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. Will this be the same again? The Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Fat Fahey's Folly. Come on, dollface. It's right through here. Aw, oh, gee, Polly. I ain't never been in a secret gangster hideout before. What the? Paulie, you dumb jamoke! What's the big idea? Bringing a dame into our hideout! Into my hideout! Ah, relax, boss. She's all right. Ain't you all right, Wendy? Cindy? Yeah. It's candy. And yeah, of course I'm all right. I'm just a young, dumb girl in love with a handsome, dangerous man. Ah, oh, brother. All right, the skirt can stay, but close that door. Last thing we need is... The Silver Shroud infiltrating your nefarious lair. Holy cannoli! It's the nightmare of night, the deceptive detective, the dark dick! Polly, you idiot! You were duped! That's no normal dame! Quite right, you custodian of criminality. For I am not Candy, the captivating companion. It is I, the mistress of mystery. I have clouded Polly's paltry perceptions to gain access to your den of depravity. Sorry, boss. I had no idea. Your mistake is our gain, Polly, is it? Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am its shroud. Polly, no! Okay, okay, listen. Whatever you want, Silver Shroud. I'll do it. Just don't kill me, too. Pathetic and predictable. When faced with fear, the cocksure culprit. <laughs> oh, you too. Crime fighters? What a laugh. And you call me predictable. You don't got any idea, do you? Why, the Juviality Fahey, I, the Silver Shroud, have got you dead to rights, yet you persist in this mindless guffawing. Not the behavior I'd expect of a criminal mastermind. And you're right. Criminal mastermind? Me? Bub, you're as dumb as that get-up. I'm just a pawn in this game, pal. You see, my master, the real master, he's been pulling all the strings. You mean? That's right, mistress. This was all just a big distraction. While we were here having our little jaw session, my boss has been at your parlor, stealing back those deeds you took from Mayor Murphy's briefcase. Treacherous toad, you defiled my sacred sanctum. Oh, for that, you will feel my fury. Behold the blade of Bastet! Mistress, no! We needed him alive. Ha! That was never... Going. Wait, that, that's a synth? I am never... Shadows. Fat Fahey. He's. He's a robot. Wow. 
thank you. Quite the detective. Too bad your career as a crime fighter is over. Lockbots, attack! Monster robots, assaulting from all angles. Not even the Silver Shroud can kill what isn't alive. You watch me, mistress. Watch me. What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud. This is not that bad. And they said that. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy! And I think that uh, we started with the third uh, episode, and this was the first. This will be the second, probably. That's all of them. Fat Fahey's mobbots have been sent back to the mechanical hell that spawned them. Yes, my choleric companion. And no, robotic hell spawn they were. But not Fat Fahey's. For he himself presented the facts. Someone else is actually... The master of it all. You're right. But who? Dearest mistress of mysteries, you and I have battled Boston's rogues gallery for years. This, this is someone new. Certainly, but which criminal culprit has the technological know-how to construct such clockwork calamities? I don't... You don't know anything? Yeah, right. But I, I do see... And I'll tell you two, on one condition. By the shadowed streets of Southie, one of the mob bot's heads is still talking. You're darn right I am. I can't feel my legs, cause you shot me up, Coach Shroud. But I still got my kisser, see? And, and I'm gonna use it to tell you where the big boss you man is, see? Worst and you're work. one. Condition. Oh, I let it get to you sometimes. You take my head with you, so as I can see you take that creep down. Yeah, what did he ever do for me, huh? Okay, so he created me. Whoop de doo. Who needs a father who sends his kids out to die? Silver Shroud, I sense truth in this clockwork crook. Shall I? Use your blade of bastard to free the mobot's head. From its now destroyed body? Mm -hmm. Do it. Ha! Sweet freedom! Thanks, Dollface! Now tell us, who is your creator? The robotic puppet master pulling your twisted wires? Speak, you decapitated electronic evildoer! <laughs> that will spoil all the fun! You gotta see for yourself! Come on! Let's be feet to the big warehouse down at Pier 12. Fine, you amoral automaton. We're away. A moonless night and an unguarded skylight. Just what we needed to stealthily infiltrate this warehouse. Yes. And our view from above is advantageous, for the gathering below is unlike any soiree I've ever seen. Robots. Dozens of them. All shapes and sizes. And on the stage, their leader. Another robot. No, not a robot. A man in a robot costume. Shh, shut up, you dummies. Us robots got good hearing. You gotta get yourselves caught. Now listen, boss man's about that talk. My robotic children, my glorious creations, we stand tonight at the dawn of a new era. For too long, the human vermin of Boston have destroyed this fair city. The flesh is weak, but steel, steel is strong. You, my children, will 
usher in a new age, an age of robots, led by me, your father, the Mechanist! The Mechanist? So, evil does have a name. The revolution begins tonight, my precious offspring. But first, let us welcome our special guests for this evening. Silver Shroud and the Mistress of Mystery. Uh, oh. What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud. I wonder how many episodes are here. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy News Radio. Sorry for, uh, for this, guys, but uh, uh, this is really interesting. The streets of Boston. One man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, The Mechanist Unmasked. Dangling over a pit of fire reminds me of our adventure against the Chelsea Mingler, eh, mistress? Indeed, stalwart Shroud. But that malformed murderer was but a muppet compared to the malignancy of the mechanist. Malignant, am I? No, mistress of mystery. What you mistake for evil is actually enlightenment. Only I, the Mechanist, truly understand the folly of humankind. The flesh is weak. Metal is the future of Massachusetts. The only future you have is a long nap in a deep hole, Mechanist. To me, you're just another two-bit hustler with delusions of grandeur. And by the way, you're not fooling anyone with that cheap getup. You're as human as the rest of us. Stalwart Shroud, glance skyward and see. Our newfound friend, the head of the bodiless bot. And it would seem he's biting through our bindings. Hey down there, mechanist, you robot wannabe. Remember me? No? I didn't think so. That's the problem. You made me, but you didn't love me. You didn't love any of us, you selfish jump out! Now, it's time to pay! Gasp! Gasp! Fools, all of you! Attack my robot children! Destroy these interlopers! The robots are advancing, and our weapons have been confiscated. So, fist to cuff cities then! And furiously fluid footwork. hi -ya! By order of our master, the mechanist, you will be destroyed. Nay, destroy it. And that <laughs> is the last of them. Now for the mechanist. But where did that vile ruffian escape to? A silver do gooder, it's me, the head there. Yeah, that's right. I'm up here in the rafters. I'm your eye in the sky. I saw where the mechanist went. He's in that office, up the stairs. Well done, heroic head. Your adjusted attitude has made allies of us all. Silver Shroud, shall we? We shall. Stop right there! Not a step closer! You may have defeated my robot children, but now I will turn your own weapon against you! Silver Shroud? He's armed with your Silver Shooter! Your most revered rifle! So he is, Mistress. So he is. Alright, Mechanist. It's your move! Shoot! If you've got the Hootspah! I have been waiting for this moment a long time, Silver Shroud. With you and your harlot out of the way, the age of the robots can truly begin. Now, die. Ah! Silver Shroud, the bullets, they bounced, ricocheted right off your raiment, right back at... 
Kinnist. <laughs> That's right, mistress. For what kind of crime fighter would I be without a few mysteries of my own? The silver weapon of the silver shroud can never harm the silver shroud. <laughs> so, this is the end. <laughs> All I wanted was a better life, a better commonwealth, free from the petty squabbles <laughs> of humankind. We have the why, but not the who. Stalward Shroud, unmask this miscreant and reveal the man beneath the metal. Yes, it is time. We knew the truth. Who is the Mechanist? By the rays of Ra, the Mechanist is none other than... Mayor Murphy! Of course. It all makes sense. <laughs> My death. In that alley. <laughs> A ruse. He was... <laughs> just one of my robots. But by being... Dead. <laughs> you could turn your little hobby into a full-time endeavor. And the real estate papers? A rancorous ruse. A spiteful sham. All to throw us off the trail. <laughs> yes. It was a master plan. And you ruined it all. But... What happens now? <laughs> I need a doctor and ambulance. Stalwart Shroud, could it be? Can the mewling mechanist not foresee his fate? <laughs> My fate? What? <laughs> Death has come for you, Mayor Murphy, and I am its shroud. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets oh, there is more? I thought that this is uh, the, the last episode. Do you like? 
like I did the mayor. Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am its shroud. No! My work here is done. Or is it? What brought you to Scully Square, Mayor Murphy? A journey that left you dead and Boston leaderless. Why venture? <laughs> Emerge from the shadows, villain, or face the justice of the Silver Shroud! What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud! I think uh, this is uh, just repeating, You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of itself, but Galaxy News this was the Radio. beginning of the story, uh, where they believed that they shot the uh, mayor. our dear Mayor Murphy, who is up to some mischief. The mayor? So he wasn't here in some kind of official capacity? Hardly. Here, let me show you. The contents of the late mayor's case. But these are real estate papers. Leases and deeds for most of the businesses in Scully Square. Indeed they are, my intrepid investigator. It would seem our Mayor Murphy was involved in a rather crooked caper. He was here to meet with some other mysterious malefactor. So, Mr. Mayor, I hope you found the place all... What the? Silver Shroud? And Mistress of Mystery? And the Mayor? Dead? That fatey! The infamous map boss! So, you were meeting with Mayor Murphy. But why? Tell me, and you may yet live. Best listen to my friend, Fahey. I'll never talk, and you two are in over your heads. So be it. Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am its... Shroud. Shroud this, crime fighter! Later, suckers! Silver Shroud! You're shot! Uh, just... a graze. You must... go after him. No. We'll let our quarry flee for now. That bullet must be removed. And you're bleeding. Badly. Must get back to my... Hush now, Stoic Shroud. I'll take you to my parlor. It is close, and that wound is worrisome. The parlor? It's been so long. Indeed it has, old friend. Old love. Indeed it has. And now we must away. I guess uh, this is where we will join the, the first uh, episode what uh, we already heard, but uh, let's just... Uh, You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Let's just listen to it. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode in the parlor of mysteries. Yeah, that uh, we we already heard that. Jasmine, chamomile, pain, ecstasy. This can only be the den of mysteries. 
Oh yeah, so uh, we already heard this. Uh, oh sweet trout. I removed what? that scumbag slug, but you're sick with fever and still suffering. In, in Good Mr. Neighbor, Mr. aren't Stone. we in uh, Good Neighbor? Right. So Ken going to use the his uh, radio station and police scanner. I'm supposed to wear the costume. Oh. <laughs> no, oh, alright. Well, guys, uh, I think... Uh, let me... I knew of the mayor's misdeeds for many Many okay, let, uh, I will. I will stop I this. Him to that fateful meeting with yeah. So, I I misunderstood the the quest, but uh, I'm a little bit happy to do this because uh, at least uh, we heard the story of the silver shroud and the mayor, uh, who was actually not even the mayor, but. Uh, uh, just the copy of a mayor as a synth uh, or a robot and and that he was uh, in the end a mechanic who made all the all the robots and uh, I should go now to the streets and um, you know just uh, patrol and, and and whatnot and the silver shroud costume uh, probably that's what we will do in uh, the next episode I'm sorry about this. Uh, if um, I hope that uh, you guys at least enjoyed uh, the story, but I think it was uh, it was brilliant. It was a nice story. So we'll continue from here next time, and I will wear the silver shroud uh, uniform and not this uh, this big uh, <laughs> big thingy. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. I would like to thank you for watching and please don't forget to leave your comments down below and let me know what you think, let me know how you feel about what happened in this episode. If you liked it then please give it a thumbs up, it really helps out a lot. And if you have not subscribed to this channel yet then please do so, it would be really cool to see you in the team. Next part of Fallout 4 will come really soon, goodbye.